Hello, welcome back. This is James Surya from Your Chip. Uh, today we're going to look at um, a design on on and off UI switch. Now I was looking at YouTube for some some tutorials, and I look at this Adobe XD tutorial, and I don't use Adobe XD because I feel um, Azure RP gives me the flexibility to design basically anything I want so I'm not really convinced how to switch from um, Azure to XD or to other prototyping too because I've not really seen the value that they deliver for me now this tutorial it's very good very short and sweet however this switch this switch here was created in a way that um, actual RP would have handled it very easy, smooth, and far better than what Adobe XD has done. Now, um, to create this switch in Adobe XD, and um, uh, and I will imagine as well, it's going to work the same way in Sketch. You're going to have to create, um, you know, different types of hardboard to simulate this switch so when you click on this switch then it goes to the page that you've already placed this off on which i think is just kind of number one a bit of you know a waste of page because you don't need to do that when it comes to um, actual rp so i'm going to show you exactly this tutorial for the switch but how you can design it in actual rp so we just Get started let's give our page um, some styling here and I'll just give it um, color so let me just say I don't know I'm kind of vibrant today so let me let me give myself this orange okay um, so let's assume this is our um, phone that we're working on you know we're not consigning ourselves about the the size now all we want to design is the switch and what this person did did um that switch so we're going to use this and say so we have this so i'll increase this a bit to 25 and i will this a rectangle widget a box widget so i'm just going to say um switch underscore states okay and this is what we're going to animate so we're going to right click and say interactive style mm, or yeah we can use interactive style um we might okay let's forget that for now Let's take our Eclipse here and let's use our Eclipse here and we say this Eclipse as well. Let's make it same size and I'll just drop it here. So let's call this color green. Yeah. And let's remove the border for both design. So we have this as color green. I'm just going to make this a little bit like this. All right. So let's duplicate this and let's put another one here. All right. Now we might use these. There are different ways and techniques to do, to do this type, but I'm going to teach you the, the simplest way and I'll give you another kind of clue as well how you can do the other using different types of uh, events. Um, so we have this and that's it. So we could do this and say, Let's duplicate this and call it, let's make it gray for the off bit. All right. So we say this is switch state on. And I will say this is switch state off. All right. So that's fine. And we will just take this here and we'll send it back. 
so the user is not going to see it at all when the page loads so once we've done that we can either remove this or we can leave it there it doesn't really matter but we want to simulate the swipe event so we need to make this a dynamic panel so i'll just make this dynamic panel and say um let's say this is on state and let's say this is off state now if we preview our page let's take this to here if we preview what we have we can let's preview our page so this is what we're going to have but we're going to hide one without showing the other so simple in Azure we've converted this to dynamic panel we just say when we swipe this right we're going to hide this and then we're going to hide the green and show the gray um, thing that we have here let me show you properly so that before we actually start it let me move this gray here and I'll move this here and let's move this up here let's leave it for now so that for the purpose of to actually show you what's happening here um, I'm going to hide on page load and then I'm going to hide this I will hide this for now but we don't really need it if we're going to put it at the back of um, the green uh, widget so if we say on page load I will say hide and I will say state off I want to hide it and I'll just hide it so if we reload our page we're not gonna see it anymore because if we don't have the page we're going to see it here so we have it on page load and we are hiding that state so regardless of anywhere we place it it's still gonna be the case so we need to add interaction here so i'll just ungroup this i'll add interaction on swipe right then we're going to show this and we're going to hide the green state which is this on swipe right we will say show uh, show off state which is this and then we want to say um hide i will hide the switch on i will hide this and let's say okay so what i'm gonna do i'm going to put this back to the uh, back right we're not gonna see it, so i'll just put it back and i will refresh the page and if I move here, it hides the gray, but we're not showing the gray yet. So we need to show the gray. So I'll come here and say again, show, which is the state here. We're going to show this and we have that. So if we refresh the page, we see it as off and, you know, we can swipe back it's gonna be on so but we need to hide this uh, what if we swipe this then we hide this and then we show this so on page load as well we're going to hide this as well so on page load there are so many things that we're going to hide so we just say hide on page load um, the off states which is that we're just going to hide that and say okay so if we refresh the page now we should not see it anymore so if we go and do like this swipe then we will see the state and we need to hide this as well when we swipe um, left so we just say show hide show so I'll put it here and say show um, here will be the on state and we will change it to hide so we are hiding the on state and then we are showing you know the um the status uh, of container that we had it so if we go back to our page 
we can switch and we can apply the same thing when we switch back so i'm just going to copy what we have here the case i'm going to add, add it here and place it on left and i'm going to say once we uh, show this off state we're going to hide off state and we're going to set on state to show and we're going to show this and we're going to hide this so as you can see we are not really doing um much we're just you know switching which is very easy so we don't need to create five different hardboard if we have five of these we don't need to create that because there's no point to to create those hardboard it just practically a waste of time really so once we have that it's very easy so exactly what can be done in adobe xd is what has been achieved here with simple interaction using actual rp so if you have any question any tutorial you can give me some heads up and i'll create them in a um, actual rp for you as well and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you around in the next tutorial thank you very much for watching bye for now